Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pixel 12 back another YouTube video for you guys on the channel and today's video is not going to be a very happy one, if I can say that. I mean, the news I've woken up to today that Manchester United are participating in the European Super League. I mean, really? Is that what we've come to now? Like, isn't it bad enough that the Glazers aren't giving our managers enough money to update, like to, to, to fund the club, to add new players, to make us stronger? No, we're going into this elitist tournaments with the likes of Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal. I don't even know how Arsenal get in. Like, that's one of the things as well, which I'm going to talk to talk about in a minute, is clubs like Arsenal getting into this. I don't understand that. But nonetheless, it's, it's really bugged me. I mean, I didn't want to make a, a ranting video. I didn't really want... You guys know my channel and my content is normally very happy-go-lucky and I rarely make videos where I talk about serious stuff, but this can't run. This seriously can't run. Like, I'm wanting to... St I want. I don't want this to go through. I'm going to try and do my best to also help other, like people from other clubs, fan channels from other clubs. Do you guys want to have me on to talk about it? I will more than happily jump on. It can't run. I mean, I've been a Manchester United supporter. I'm now 21. I've been a Manchester United supporter for 14 years. And when I first fell in love with the club, it was, I can remember it as if it was yesterday. It was over a David Beckham free kick back at the season 2006-2007. Because before that, funnily enough, I was, a, I was an Arsenal fan because my uh, favourite player used to be Thierry Henry. Yeah, nonetheless, obviously, that David Beckham goal was like, it was big. Free kick is crazy. So I loved David Beckham and automatically with that, I loved Manchester United. And since then, it's always been Manchester United for me. And through the highs and lows of what our club has gone through, especially within the last decade, I say decade, eight years, add to one, it's a decade. This is, for me, the worst thing that I can imagine happening. And... Uh, I think it's despite what us fans do because they don't really care about our, our voice. Like, I mean, the fact that Real Madrid are even wanting to partake in this, even though they're the club who's won, what, 20 Champions League trophies? Four within the last decade? Five maybe even within the last decade. And they're wanting to partake in this? Come on, grow up. What are you doing? Then the players that from the teams that are going to be partaking, i.e. Manchester United, PSG... Real Madrid players, Tony Cruz, Paul Pogba, Kylian Mbappe, those players not being able to play in European or like world championships. What the hell? Think about it. You guys, man, you guys are the reason we watch football. You guys are the reason we t turn our TVs on. You guys are the reason a lot of us are actually happy in life. A lot of us wait, can't wait for the for the Champions League, for the Europa League, for the Premier League, for the Ligue 1, for the Serie A, for the La Liga to start. Like, for a game to come on that we're like, yes, for the next few hours, I'm locked in, I'm focused. This is, this is my team. This is what I'm basically, this is what I live for, kind of thing. It's ride or die. And you're going to tell us we're going to, without, without asking us even, without taking an ounce of interest in our vote as fans, you're going to ask us to, or you're going to tell us that we are going to be partaking in the European Super League. Nah, fan. Nah. I don't, that can't run for me. That's not a thing that can run for me. I'm sorry. Like, that can't run for me. Seriously, like, purely be out of the point of, like, if we would have been asked and we would have said yes, the fans would have voted for it. Completely different scenario. Like, I'm, I'm down. I'm cool with that. If fans vote and, and us as fans say, yeah, we'll, 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 fu we'll fuck up the whole thing. You guys know fans would not have voted for this. You guys know this shouldn't even be a, a thing that's being spoken about. Bro, and then they're what? They're going to kick us out of the Premier League because we're partaking in this. So what? who's going to win the season next season? Is it going to be fucking Crystal Palace? What? I know it's going to come up and dominate. Fucking hell. Like, no, shape, no no, front to those clubs. Those are great clubs. But if you think about the bigger picture here and what, what could be going on around the world due to this being implemented, it's a lot of fuckery. It's a lot of fuckery. And I'm not happy being a fan of Manchester United wearing the shirt. Like, I feel, I feel ill. I feel ill right now. I feel sick to my stomach. I don't feel happy with this news. Like, it's disgusting. I can remember when it, when it was being thought about, what, about a year and a half ago? Maybe even less than that. When it was first being spoken about, it might be happening type thing. Like, it was very hyper... What do you call it? It's very hypothetic. And now it's actually being implemented. Like, us as... I mean, Manchester United Football Club has left the European Football Association. So, they've, they've left the, the group that are basically 
responsible for the Euro, uh, for the Europa, UEFA Europa League and the Champions League. All right then, why fuck about and get top two? Why fuck about even getting points and even caring about second place this season when this when the tournament we are wanting to get in, we're not going to be able to partake in. What's the point? We may as well be we may as well be down in down by Arsenal, tenth, eleventh, maybe even twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. I don't give a fuck if we're not being able if if, if we are busting our ass off in a season where. Oh, next season won't even be in the Champions League because we can't be in it. Fuck off. Seriously, what's the fucking point? And it's like, for me, it's like, again, what I was saying at the start, I don't understand how Arsenal get into this. I don't understand how Arsenal... I, the only way I can see Arsenal, like, my understanding of how Arsenal are being able to partake in this is their financial, obviously, they've got, what, billionaire investor or whatever. <sighs> see what's good. That's done them over the last couple of years. No front, but, yeah. But... It's just sad. It's a very sad day for for football. Football is dead, in my opinion. Or if it's not dead now, it is dying quicker than quicker than the icebergs are in in the North Pole and in the in the Arctic, bro. Like due to global warming, global warming. But it's I'm really upset. Like I'm really sad. I'm really upset. I'm really angry, and I do not want this to happen. So obviously, guys, make sure you spread awareness of this. Make sure you use the hashtag. No European Super League, please. Or hashtag stop European Super League. Make sure you use those. Make sure you definitely post on social media that you are not a, a fan of this. Make your make yourselves heard. Record videos like I'm doing. This video may not even get a lot of views. I don't really care. I'm doing it because I feel passionate about this situation. I want to make myself heard as a fan. Get my voice out. Because one voice is better than none. And the more we stick together through this, hopefully in the long run, it will get us somewhere. But but with that being said, this has been Bob Pixel 12. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a different video. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.